Let's take a closer look at report tables using this merchandise tray table to demonstrate. Reports have categories of data called dimensions. There are three possible dimension positions, column, row, and other. For this particular table, the years occupy the columns of the table, the economies occupy the rows, and the other dimensions are flow and measure. Clicking a dimension name will open the item selection page for that dimension. This is where you can choose the items that you want to appear in your table. To see the current selections, click Show Selected. To see all possible selections, click Show All. The checkboxes on the sides of the item selection box align with the checkboxes for each item and help you select and deselect groups of items by group. The plus and minus signs beside item names help you expand and collapse groups. To return to the table, click Show Table. Metadata for dimensions or items can be accessed by clicking on the information icons next to the dimension or item name. If the active item of a dimension defines a group, the name of that item appears underlined. Clicking an underlined item name will produce a table with only those group items selected. Switching report dimensions exchanges their positions on the table. To switch dimensions, drag and drop one dimension onto another. The underlying dimension will change color to show that the drag dimension can be dropped onto it. Let's say we wanted each year to appear as a row instead of as a column. Dragging year onto the economy position will get the table to display like this. The economy dimension has changed color to show that you can drag the drop dimension onto it, switching their position. This also works with the other dimensions. So say we wanted the different types of flows to appear as rows instead of the economies. Then we would just drag the flow dimension on top of the economy dimension, which switches their positions. Um, because the default item selection for economy is individual economies, you're not gonna get a whole lot of information from that. Um, but switching the item to world will give you world exports and imports. A table can also have more than one column or row dimension. Right now, the only row dimension is flow, but if we wanted to add economy as well, for instance, you would drag the economy dimension to the side of the flow dimension and end up with two different column dimensions. You can also reorder dimensions by navigating to the Set Dimension Order page and using the arrows on the page to rearrange the dimensions.